Hello you guys and welcome back to another slow cooker Sunday. So today I'm sharing with y'all three easy side dishes that can of course go in your slow cooker and these recipes are perfect for Thanksgiving or any holiday party that you have coming up. So tonight we're doing a green bean casserole and I have never made it in my crock pot but the recipe seems super simple so we're gonna try it all together. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip y'all around and we are gonna get started. Okay, so to get started on our green bean casserole, I'm going to pour in my crock pot four cans of drained green beans. And this makes a pretty good size batch. So if you wanna cut this in half, you totally can. Sorry if you'll hear Noah, he is watching TV. So all four cans are going in and then we are going to do two cans of cream of mushroom. Just dump it right over top. You could probably do cream of chicken, but I really recommend the cream of mushroom. And then one more can of that. And then for our seasonings, we are gonna do a little bit of garlic powder. You could also throw in some onion powder, but I'm gonna skip that. And then some black pepper and some salt, maybe. <laughs> Yeah, I'm making a mess everywhere, but that's okay. And then also, we're gonna do roughly about a cup of sour cream. Let's see, I should probably just use the rest of this, but that's good enough. And then three fourths cup of milk. And we're just gonna pour all of this right in and give it a good stir. This is going to cook for probably about three or four hours on high. I'm gonna check it after about three hours. And then the recipe also calls for some cheese if you wanna throw cheese into yours. Um, I'm gonna skip that. I just don't think cheddar cheese and green bean casserole really go together. But if you think it does, then you and your family can do it that way. So I'm gonna pop the lid on and cook this on high. And I will be back in three hours to check it. Okay, so. This has been going for three hours. I'm gonna give it a good stir. And I will say you could probably leave out the milk. Um, the recipe calls for it, but I think next time I'll leave it out because I like my green bean casserole a little bit thicker than this. Um, and it's not really gonna thicken up as the day goes. So just make sure your green beans are done. And I'm going to add on top of mine some of these French fried onions. That is totally optional, um, but we love them. <laughs> and so I'm just going to sprinkle mine on top. You can mix some in, whatever you want to do, but I like that crunch right on top. And the recipe says to let these cook in here for like another hour, but I'm not going to do that. I like mine crunchy. So I'm just going to put these on and then we will serve this here in just a minute. I think that this looks so stinking good. It's beautiful with that green color and those fried onions on top. It's also really pretty in the crock pot, which is probably how you're gonna serve it up. So I think this is a great side dish, probably one of our favorites, perfect for Thanksgiving or any holiday meal or event that you have coming up. So I will leave the full recipe linked down below. So tonight we're making one of my favorite side dish slow cooker recipes, and that is cheesy potatoes. I think a lot of people also call them funeral potatoes, whatever you wanna call it. They are made up of some cheesy goodness, and I love them. I usually choose to take this to Thanksgiving or Christmas, really any holiday party event that I know I wanna use my slow cooker, and it is a huge crowd pleaser. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip you all around, and we are gonna get started. So I've already sprayed down my crock pot with some non-stick cooking spray. That is crucial to this recipe because I have had this stick in my crock pot several times. So if you have a liner, that would also be good. But I'm just gonna take some of these Southern style hash browns and dump them right in. And I'm gonna do the whole 32 ounce bag. You can do 28 to 32 ounces. Whatever you use will be fine. And then we're going to dump in one can of cream of chicken. Pour it right over top. We're gonna give this a good stir and mix everything together here in just a minute. And then about a cup of sour cream. You can do a little more or less. 
this recipe does not have to be measured out perfectly. And then a couple tablespoons of melted butter right on top. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a stir. And then to this, we are gonna add about a cup to a cup and a half of shredded cheddar cheese. And I like to use sharp shredded cheddar cheese. That's kind of a mouthful to say. Um, but you can use mild, whatever you wanna use. I'm just going to dump this in and then give it one more stir. And then we are gonna come back after about five or six hours and add in a little bit more cheese on top. These are called cheesy potatoes, so I like to go pretty heavy on the shredded cheese because um, that's just what makes it so, so good. So got that stirred in pretty good. I'm gonna pop the lid on and then this is gonna cook on high for about six hours, five to six. I'll come back and check it here in about five hours. Okay, so this has been going about five hours and I did taste a potato just to make sure it was tender and it was. So this looks really good, but it needs a ton of salt and pepper. Like it is pretty bland. Um, so I'm just gonna add in that salt and then a little bit of pepper and then a little bit more cheese. Probably not much because it is pretty cheesy. So just a small handful. It already melted because it's so hot, but this is one of my favorite recipes and we have this at pretty much every holiday, especially if I am making anything. Um, so you'll try this one and the full recipes linked down below. I'm actually going to take this over to my mom's house, so I'm not going to plate it up, but it is so good. So trust me. Okay, so tonight I need a really simple crock pot side dish to go with our dinner. So we have some leftover carrots that I need to use up from a party this weekend. I don't really love raw carrots, so I don't want them to go to waste. So I'm gonna throw them in my crock pot, coat them with some butter and let them cook that way for a couple of hours. And then when they are almost done, I'm going to add in some brown sugar and some cinnamon and kind of create a glaze on them. I think it's gonna be so good. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip y'all around and show y'all how I'm gonna make them. Okay, so I'm just gonna use my little crock pot. Um, I do not know how many quarts this is, but it's pretty little, but that's okay because I'm not gonna cook a ton. So going to just go ahead and dump in my carrots. I would say this is about a half a pound to a pound. I'm just gonna layer those right in and then I'm going to put about two tablespoons of butter right on top. I'm gonna actually kind of stir it in. Once this melts, um, I'll come back and stir it again. And I will say I would probably continuously stir these about every 45 minutes, just so that way they're not burning on the bottom or anything like that. So I don't think they will, but I'm just gonna stir it to be safe, so do that I'm gonna pop the lid on and let this go for about three hours and then I will come back and add in some brown sugar and cinnamon and I think that's gonna be really tasty okay so I got carried away and these have been in the crock pot on high for about four hours um, so I'm going to turn it down probably just to warm and then I'm gonna add in about a fourth of cup to a third of a cup of brown sugar you can kind of do it however you like. And then we're gonna do a little bit of a cinnamon, probably not a ton. Oh, well that came out fast, oh well. <laughs> I think it'll still be good. And just kind of let this create a glaze. There is still some butter down there, so I'm not gonna add any more just right this second. I'm just gonna let these sit on warm for about 10 minutes until our other food is completely done. Okay, so I think that these look amazing oh it's steaming up my camera um i went ahead and took them out of the crock pot after like five minutes because my crock pot's really hot and i didn't want these to burn um, especially with that brown sugar glaze but these smell amazing i think this would be perfect for a thanksgiving side dish maybe even christmas it's super simple so even better but the full recipe is linked down below 
Thank y'all for watching today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope you got some recipe inspiration. As always, if you are new around here, I would love for you to stick around. So be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see y'all in my next one. Bye.